Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, y'all, to the mental house with me, your host, good evening. Are any of y'all surprised that uh, Roger Stone was let out of jail, pardoned by the uh, corrupt one himself, number 45? Are you really surprised? Really, really, really. You know, hmm, here's the thing, in my opinion, I don't think enough of us really, really understand that this probably very well, I hope enough of us understand that this is probably the end of America, not just as we know it, but maybe the end of America, period. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, because all the other great civilizations fell to a point so low that they were um, beneath or, you know, just third world countries. Um, and maybe America is going to put itself in a position where it's not looked at as the world leader, which is standing on shaky ground right now anyway. But, you know, it kind of reminds me of that story, Let Them Eat Cake. Marie Antoinette, because the corruption that goes on with this White House and for the people that voted for a demagogue like this, um, there's really no excuses other than um, I don't blame Donald Trump for the racism. I say that over and over and over again. It was here before he got on the planet. However, he is the children of the damned. So he's the one of their leader, cult leaders, and of course, it's up to him to keep the stoke in the fires of racism and hatred and bigotry. Uh, it's up to him to do that. You know, he, he for this time, he's the perfect one. Okay, it's kind of like what uh, Farrakhan said when he said Hitler was wickedly great and everybody went up in arms because he said wickedly great, but you didn't hear the whole content. The context, I'm sorry, of these of, of his words and of his story. And I feel that way. And if you can censor him, Lord have mercy. How about a liar and a cheater and a murderer? And now a person that we don't even really know if he sold Americans or if he was aware that American soldiers have bounty on their heads. And y'all don't think that he should be censored and taken out on a what is it, Article 25 or something? I don't know what to say about um, America. So um, at this point, again, it is the United Snakes of America. The good people are not loud enough because what's going to happen is when the protests die down, if you don't keep it going, if you don't keep this fight on, you can't be tired. It's a I feel no ways tired. You got to keep going. Because if we don't keep going, you know, it'll be an even harder crumble um, than we can possibly imagine. I mean, really. Uh, because this this corruption, um, this snake in this hole goes way too deep. This is, this is not even <laughs> rationally explainable what is happening and and it's almost like everybody has their hands tied can't do anything about it and just watching this corrupt regime uh do whatever they want to in america now where they do that at do y'all think if this was barack obama participating in all this crazy kind of stuff that they wouldn't find a way to get his black ass out of there i mean just let's just be honest for one minute Please, and I would like for some of my white listeners to uh, put an answer down there. If you think this was Barack Obama doing all this crazy stuff, letting people out of jail, uh, people that were put, put in, um, you know, uh, in bed with uh, some other leaders of foreign country, being accused of quick, uh, uh, quid quo pro, um, what do you think? Okay, so what it shows me is that 
you know, there is a hidden hand that is a, is is allowing all this activity. Always has, you know. It's just like people get mad about Europeans for whipping and beating the, um, slaves, and I always say, "Well, where did the money go? Where did the money go? Follow the money." So when these slaves were being sold, and the white man was buying them, the European they came, he was buying them. Where did that money after hit that European's hand? Where did it go? Who was responsible after that? When you follow the money then, where does it lead? That's the million dollar question I want to ask. This Mernon, where did the money go after the white man, the slave master, uh, bought the slave? Okay, who was the money changer? It's an important question. Anyways, with that being said, again, Roger Stone out of out of jail. Pardon, y'all already know he was out. Pardon, no problem. He's done nothing wrong, thanks to Donald Trump. All right, white folks' madness that we got to put up with. Like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and listen. There's a lot. I just want to make sure I make this clear. There's a lot of folks out there that's. Saying the same thing that are white, that they like the real ones. They like that's just us doing our bullshit. That's just us doing the bullshit we do. Okay, all right. 